Good morning. Welcome to Member Focus Monday. I'm Christina Schaefer, Social Media Manager for HAR. I'm joined this morning by Mr. HAR.com himself, Tiki Rizvi. Welcome, Tiki. Good morning. <laughs> so why do people call you that, Mr. HAR.com? Well, I think it's... It started as a joke. We discussed that, <laughs> that, you know, and Bob, you know, I, I love working for Bob, and uh, he always has such a great uh, love for HR.com. So he would just, everybody would start calling him that, hey, you are HR.com. He said, no, 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 it's not me, it's Tiki. <laughs> so so it's, it's his kindness, but uh, really, uh, it's uh, HR.com, it's, uh, it's, it's you, it's me, we all are working every day to make it better and, and and that's what has been our focus so. <laughs> so for those who don't know Tiki is our chief technology officer he you have how long have you been with HAR now Tiki? Uh, since 97, 97. So, so it's a long time yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you could just tell us uh, if you just want to introduce yourself I know this is your second time being on our program sure. but for any members that uh, aren't aware of who you are the, sure. the brains thank behind you all so this. much <laughs> uh, so first thank you Christina for having me on this program I have been here before, and uh, HR, I've been working on different roles in HR, but right now in my current role, I'm responsible for all the product and services, which is offered to members, which is offered to consumers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, plus, uh, looking at some of the future development of that, what are the next things our members will need? Mm -hmm. And so, doing the assessment, it's, it's a great job, I enjoy that. Uh, but what makes it exciting is that the HR leadership has been in the forefront of, you know, pushing us that, hey, why don't you go in a way, try to come up with a new product mm -hmm. and things that can help member, whether it's in the form of an a platinum agents or integration within the matrix, mm -hmm. but overall making our lives, members' life more easier so they can have uh, a more productive and, and a cost-effective solutions when it comes to any t uh, technology product and services. Yeah, it seems like every time I talk, I talk to you, you tell me, hey, take a look at what we're working on, and it's always something new. How many tools are there that, that your team has developed? We counted last time, which was 80 and all of that, but I will tell you that <laughs> it's, 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 it's a handful of those. And, yeah. uh, but one <clears throat> goal we have is that we are always evaluating products from a perspective that, you know, what are members using? Mm -hmm. You know, and are we missing something which is? And also looking at the competitive landscape, what has been right. offered by other third-party providers, and what we try to do is to look at that and improve our own products yeah. and to bring it. And we will discuss some of the ideas, some sure. of the things, how we are improving uh, some of the existing products. And I think that's just so great because some of these, um, nothing against any of the technology companies or vendors out there, but sometimes the developers, they you know, they're not working from the agent perspective. Absolutely. So they're just Absolutely. making a, a product that they think is really neat. Absolutely. But the agent might go to use it and it's just not very functional for them. So Absolutely. And you uh, bring a very good point, which is that most of the products which are developed, only 3% of the 3 to 10% is the is the really what people use. Right. Rest is <laughs> bells and whistle. Because our product development have realtors been involved and in giving their feedback and we also know what are the, our audience is. So we really focus on what is the most critical thing the application need to do. Right. So we really cut off some of the fluff and some of these things. Mm -hmm. and, and the idea is that, that one, make it simple for members, give them what they need, and then you can always enhance, go to phase two, add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about how we are now looking at Facebook ads. Mm -hmm. And in Facebook ads, we are now saying, okay, we got a great program which is going, mm -hmm. working. Now, how can we do this so you can have ads which are now have multiple photos on right. that? Take it to the so next level. So take us to the next level. But what we do it is slowly, <laughs> we just don't rush to put all our efforts in R&D in building the tool mm -hmm. and then realize, well, that's not what members want. Right. So we wanted to take a, uh, our approaches to kind of go step by step and move uh, sort of stages to stage. Uh, sure. to next stage and, and that's how we progress. Very good. So speaking of Facebook, mm -hmm. there is a new Facebook group. Yes. The yes. first Facebook group that HAR has, has put together. I will tell you this, I commend you so much for coming <laughs> up with the idea and actually doing this. Again, HAR, all the product and services in Platina mm -hmm. are really, really, Im are critical part of that is what we hear and receive from our members. Sure. So when you are teaching classes or education department is offering classes, and when we have members reaching out to us, you know, 
it's it's a great way for us to know what works, what doesn't mm-hmm. work, and and so so when you came up with this great idea of doing this the group, uh, I loved it because I'm, I'm I look at that as a great way how we can actually improve from that feedback. Right. And like I love the quiz you did the last time. That was great <laughs> as well. Yeah. So um, I'm, we have the link up if. If you haven't joined the HAR Facebook group yet, it's a Facebook group for Platinum subscribers. Um, and it's just a place for you to get some on-demand support, some exclusive training, um, and to be able to collaborate with other Platinum members. I love when I see Platinum members uh, within the group saying things like, you know, hey, I have a question about Market Insight, yeah. which we'll talk about. Um, and another member answers it before we can even get to them. Absolutely. So it's it's really a, a great group if you haven't joined yet. We have about 2,500 members right wow, now for that group. So that's awesome. it's good. So um, one thing that was released uh, a few months back that was kind of a quiet release, not many people knew about it, was the customization of the of the Find a Pro. Sure. Can you can you tell us a little bit about that? So the way consumer find members right now is just to go to HR have a great uh, application called uh, uh, Finder Pro, mm-hmm. which is like a agent search. Sure. So you go, you have different options to search for your rating, your uh, different language and culture options. Mm-hmm. But one of the features which people look for is uh, uh, geographical preference, which mm-hmm. is I want to look for people in this city or in by zip. Right. Okay. So the way we had it from long always the way we had it was that you can put the office that's the only way we could do it it was uh, uh, the zip code of a city uh, where the office is or or the zip code uh, uh, of the office mm-hmm. you know zip code in the city of the office that's how we need to key off right so now what we did is we said look why don't we build a tool which allows eight uh, platinum agents to go in and they can now put in, look, I would like to show my broker is maybe in Woodlands, but I work in Sugarland. Mm-hmm. So I really would like to do, uh, I'll put a zip code in, which is uh, related to where I farm or what is my far, uh, area is. Sure. So you can put that, especially in right now when you have virtual brokers, mm-hmm. you know, where you have one office someplace, it's, it was <laughs> important to kind of accommodate that. So now, that is another feature which is available for platinum agents. Mm-hmm. They can choose whichever city they want and whichever zip code they want. Which is so helpful. I mean, we yeah. hear that from members all the time. I live here, but my broker's way over it here, is. right? So and and absolutely. And this mm-hmm. is this this solution came out as a request from uh, uh, our members. members. They said, right. "Look, we need to solve this problem, and this is the solution we have now available." And that's just in the personalization settings in the portal. Correct. So if you go there, just type in "Find a Pro." you will see customize your zip code, you know, or city or zip, and you can find that. And I would encourage members also to go on HAR.com or go on the app as a consumer and go search Find a Pro. It's, it's, there's so many layers and different things that they can use in their searching, and I think it's really beneficial, and if you haven't completed your profile, oh, you're really missing out, right? Absolutely. I think, I think you know, most of the, us know that consumers start online, mm-hmm. all their research, everything, so sure. when they are looking for agent, they are trying to compare and look at different type of options. So, so you having a, not a complete profile, you're right. really not telling your side of the story, <laughs> and you're just you know, right. starting your own self. Right, which is starting with uploading a photo. Absolutely. Or <laughs> maybe absolutely. getting some ratings. And of course, like you said, they're gonna search geographically in, the, in most cases. So absolutely. this feature is really helpful. Absolutely. Very good. Um, so let's go back to Facebook for a minute. You mentioned um, the Facebook ads and that you are now allowing people to add more than one photo. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you tell us more about that? So it's it's not available today, but okay. we are coming up with a way to you can do multiple photos. Okay. And so it will be like a carousel mm-hmm. uh, ad. So that will be supported very soon. Uh, but one of the things which, if you, those who have run this, uh, so we have a, uh, when you create an ad, Facebook, your ad also goes to a page which have about 2,500 people on this, mm-hmm. which is called featured listings on HR.com. Okay. So that also is promoted on that page, which has been followed by uh, different audience as well. Mm-hmm. So that's sort of an added benefit in addition to uh, the ad we run with the platform. And in the same one, we are now looking at uh, very soon, probably before the end of this year, you will be able to run uh, Google ads. Wow. So that's just great. like Facebook ads, mm-hmm. you will be able to. So again, 
same concept. If you remove all the complexity, your ad will be ready. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of scheduling it, putting a budget for it, and off you go. So what was the goal behind creating the Facebook ads and then soon the Google ads for so our members? These platforms are awesome platforms and uh-huh. allow a lot of customization to the users. They can customize many things. However, the main idea was that, that we wanted mm-hmm. to make sure that we make it very simple for members. Mm-hmm. These great platforms are sophisticated as well. So you need to know okay, what a CPC is, a bunch <laughs> of other lingo and terminology which is part of that. And, and so we hide all that and we make it really simple where they do not have to worry about that. But one of the biggest advantages, data integration. Mm-hmm. So you do not have to upload photos. You do not have to upload price, description. You can modify some of these things, mm-hmm. but, but everything comes in. Yeah. But then we added like a cool feature of filters where mm-hmm. you can actually say it's a just listed property, is an open house property, right. or a price reduction. So you can just kind of add that, and we're gonna enhance that as well of the graphics, what you see on the Facebook ads. Yeah, it really does make it so much easier. I I mean, as you know, I teach some social media classes and and I always encourage people to use the Facebook ads tool that you guys have created because what I tell them is it's my job to worry about social media all day long because that's my role. Absolutely. But as a realtor, you don't want to worry about that all day long. (laughs) So it just makes it so much easier. And I have heard other agents as well, well, it's not as uh, robust as what I can do. Yeah, there are about few people who can be do that and we say you are welcome to use that platform yeah. but really for majority of our members <laughs> who really like you said are not tech savvy tech yeah. savvy and yeah. go into that and they should not be wasting their time honestly learning they should focus on where their right. skill set are and their that's where what their true business mm-hmm. is and 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 that's why that's why these tools are great because they come with automation and making it simple for our members Very to good. really do it as effectively and as quickly That's as possible. That's so helpful because they need to stay competitive in social media and Google. I mean, obviously these Absolutely. are ways they need to do it. If you have any questions for Tiki, go ahead and type them into the comments and we'll get there in a second. I do have more questions for you, of course, sure. but uh, if you have any questions about any of the tools that we currently offer, or maybe you have another idea for <laughs> Tiki's team, Absolutely. go ahead and type that into the comments. So Market Insight, mm-hmm. let's talk about, that's actually one of my favorite tools. I think it's so neat. Tell us about Market Insight and some changes that are coming there. So Market Insight, um, it's, as you said, we see the usage of the tool. Mm-hmm. So when we see a lot of members are using it, we also gonna pay more attention to how well it is serving and, and is there a way to improve. So what we have done is, is as you know, about almost like a year ago, less than a year ago, we kind of redesigned it. Mm-hmm. And we redesigned it and, and, and made it better than what it was before. But then we kind of said, look, this is, this, there is still room for improvement. Sure. So we are now coming up with a new version, mm-hmm. which will have completely new design, and hopefully uh, by the end of this week, we should have something available for uh, beta testers like yourself <laughs> to kind of give your feedback, to look at it. And, but that would be, uh, we'll have more, uh, more appealing look and feel of this, mm-hmm. more responsive, how it handle mobile. Sure. Plus on top of that, uh, something we discuss it, that to have a home search feature. Mm-hmm. So when you are receiving a market insight and you wanted to perform more search on that, mm-hmm. you know, you can actually do that. That's something which is not available today. And we hope to add that uh, in the release, which sure. is gonna be in about two weeks. Yeah, and so if you're not familiar with Market Insight, it, it, what it does is actually in the title. It allows you to share insight of the market, right? With a yeah. client or customer. Um, and it's it's similar to the client portal. Let's say you Absolutely. have uh, somebody who's interested in a particular price point area, et cetera. You put all that in and, and you can select a time frame on how often they'll get notified. Again, similar to client That's portal, correct. but much more robust with a lot more information than that's available in the client Absolutely, portal. and one of the big thing is is when your agent, when as a realtor, when you are asked that, hey, can you tell me how's, uh, you know, how's the real estate in doing, you know? <laughs> so it's a really great way for you to say, hey, why don't you get your, give me your address, and doesn't have to be that address, have to be listed property. Sure. It could be any property. And you can say, let me set you up, and you will get like a regular update, what's happening. Mm-hmm. But what it happens with that, you start building that relationship, 
And now they are seeing that emails coming out on a weekly basis from you. They're seeing your face see every week. Your brand is <laughs> yeah. being promoted there, and okay. and that's that's you know out of sight, out of mind. So so that type of constant right. drip marketing type of effort actually help keep people in touch with you and your brand. Yeah, and everybody wants to know what's going on around them, even if Absolutely. they're not necessarily interested in selling tomorrow. Absolutely. You know, I'm sure realtors get the questions all the time that, Absolutely. hey, this home sold across the street, can you tell me how much it sold for? Right? Absolutely, so. and, and like you said, you know, I may look at it, uh, may not be interested in selling myself, but I may look at it and say, look, I may recommend my brother or my family yeah, members exactly. to, hey, check it out, this property, so, sure. so it's good. Very good. So one thing that um, is brand new, mm -hmm. um, just released, are some financial uh, tools. Yes. Can you can you tell us about the financial? Because we have financial tools in Matrix. Yes. Right. Yes. So how are these so, different? So the financial tools which were in Matrix have um, <clears throat> been developed uh, uh, developed some time ago. These are not very appealing mm -hmm. as far as. Um, the way they go, uh, but then they ha are missing some of the key functionality. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we completely said, okay, why don't we just reformat the whole thing? Right. We, if we reformat how members are going to create a financial, whether, whether it's a, 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 net, a, a seller's, seller's, net, net, seller's net sheet mm -hmm. or buyer's net sheet, or whether it's amortization calculator or rent any versus uh, rent versus buy, yeah. any of these things which are which are needed. We kind of looked at this, okay, how can we put all that into one umbrella, make it unified, but two things to add, which was the current version does not allow uh, an edit. You cannot add it. So if you create one, you cannot go back and modify. <laughs> so now this allows you. So you made a typo or you want to make some adjustments mm -hmm. to a net sheet, now you can do that. So you can actually so save them. You can save them. So mm -hmm. part of that is you can save them and that allows you to can edit that. That's great. So that's added. But where it kind of shine really is what your client receive. So one thing we have done is uh, we said, look, anything which is going out from agents to their clients, right, when you are sending it to your client. Mm -hmm. One thing what we did is we said, look, it need to look absolutely delightful. Mm -hmm. It'll need to look excellent. So we kind of redesigned that side of that. So it's really now, now if you look at that compared to what um, it was before, I mean, mm -hmm. there's no comparison. It is really <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. And just to let you know, like when we are changing the design of Market Insight, so now it's also a unified design. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna have the same type of characteristic as what uh, Market Insight have or what you will see when you will see financial tools. So it's tools all similar and, branding. All similar branding with, with the same type of look and feel. But again, what we are doing is changing all client-facing fa designs mm -hmm. to be consistent. That's great. So it empowers more our members how uh, information is displayed and whether it's amortization calculator or any other thing. Right. So that's very good. Well, let me take a look to see if we have any questions coming in from our members. And if you have a question for Taki, go ahead and type it into the comments and we'll take a look at it. Um, Diana said so many great technology tools as an independent firm, we can compete with large firms. So that's, absolutely. Yeah. And again, our goal is <coughs> goal has been uh, when is a product comes in, uh, some of the large firms do great job on mm -hmm. on the on their platforms. Our HR provides tools for across the board for all sizes. Mm -hmm. So some of their now even the larger firms also use some of the tools we provide. Whether it's agents and they are using Market Insight there, right. or uh, or or smaller brokers uh, also using that. So right. so our tools are available for everyone. But definitely, definitely, we believe in empowering our members. As much as power, uh, as much as we can. So, so a few things again, like we discussed. So right now there's a flyer. So we are coming up with where you would have much more flyers options available, uh, different designs available with the different colors. No, oh, very good. Um, Pamela did ask any chance of getting a CRM with the platinum package. Yes. So <laughs> I have a great news for that. So, so we are working on a great CRM, which is a. Uh, so what we have done is we have taken an open source project and, op and we have already kind of uh, start building it out just to let you know. We calculated that, look, if our members are, uh, as you guys know, the pricing of 
uh, a CRM ranges Very from expensive. mean from sixty dollars to forty dollars. Mm -hmm. So if you look at even uh, if I go on a lower end of that, even the thirty dollars, and you are talking about uh, uh, we have about thirty six thousand members, and out of that, if we only uh, only five percent of them end up using, mm -hmm. that comes to be about seventeen hundred uh, plus members, and if they are paying thirty dollars, that you are looking at. at total spend if of about almost like six hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars you know for that so so what we look at this CRM we said okay how can we do that which can actually save them money right. on on uh, and make it part of the platinum and again we're gonna look at this mm -hmm. because there is a cost of of customization modification and we are looking at all that mm -hmm. but but uh, and we are also comparing with all the top CRMs which are out there and, but it will be a great solution which will be available. But one of the things which I, I love about uh, members seeking HAR CRM mm -hmm. is part of that is uh, when they change offices, they do not want to lose their CRM. <laughs> so because yeah. I may work with one company, I got a, the broker offer a certain CRM, mm -hmm. now I move to another company that well, you had to kind of learn, import, export, all those type of stuff. But with the HAR CRM, you stay, or your contacts stay at one place. That's great. And, and it belongs to you and carries wherever you go. Yeah, similar to the agent website. Absolutely, right? yeah. absolutely. Very good. Um, so, looks like that's all the questions for now. But if you have any other questions for Key, to Key, excuse me, just type them in. So, we talked about one thing that's coming down the road yes. a CRM for Platinum members. What else is coming? Because I know you, Taki. <laughs> so there's, there's stuff that you haven't told us yet. <laughs> so, so there's a lot of exciting stuff. Okay. But just to let you know, like CMA, for example. Sure. We, we look at CMA. We did the CMA like about four or five years ago, the design which is there. So now we are completely redesigning doing that. The instant CMA? I, instant CMA. Okay. So the instant CMA, of course, uh, there's a cloud CMA, which is also part of the platinum service. Sure. Uh, but instant CMA is something which is available on your mobile app as well. But the, where you will see a difference is, is not on where you create a CMA, it will be what outputs, okay. you know, what your client you're gonna receive. The so the PDF, mm -hmm. which comes out, it's gonna be different, completely, much better, nicely designed. Again, with the same unified design concept that it need to look the same way right. as other tools are, plus, what we are doing is, which is also, um, now it's gonna have a web version as well. Because a lot of people are, are they like to think uh, tools which are interactive, mm -hmm. they can play with that. Mm -hmm. So so now with the CMA, when you receive it, you can actually go in and kind of play with that and modify settings and do this. So this is something which is in works. Right now the first mm -hmm. stage is, is a design change, right. which is coming soon as well. Very good. One thing you briefly mentioned was um, ads. So is that mm. something that's coming to new, uh, I'm sorry, flyers? Flyers, yes. So the flyers will have four components. That's okay. all. What we are calling is an REMP project, which is real estate marketing platform. Okay. So part of that is you have flyers, you have postcards, you have digital uh, uh, social media, ads, <laughs> you know, uh, and also video. So, so these are the things what we are going to do is, so when it comes to, for example, social media, mm -hmm. a lot of agents are asking, hey, how can we share that on Instagram? Mm -hmm. So now what we are doing is for you to kind of create um, a batch for an open house that you can promote price reduction, new construction, anything like that. You can actually come and, and just get the, uh, just go to the tool, mm -hmm. download it and upload it on Instagram. Uh, so this is something, so the first one we are doing is for Instagram, mm -hmm. and as we go on, we'll add more uh, two different type of thing where you can actually have ads. For example, if you wanted to do an ad for a listing, mm -hmm. and you want to put it on, on Google, mm -hmm. so you can actually take assets from that. That's but we will support that, plus Facebook posts mm -hmm. and stories as well. Very good. I have members ask me about that all the time. What mm -hmm. apps should I use to create graphics and things like that? But you guys are coming up with one for them. Yeah, and again, the idea is that, look, they're, as long as we give them enough choices to pick from, mm -hmm. a good design and enough choices to pick from, <laughs> yeah. you know, that would be that would be the right, right. Uh, uh, 
that would be a reason for them to use the We don't want everyone to look the same, the right? Absolutely. Is what you're saying? Absolutely. Very good. Anything else new that we should be aware of or something coming? So, again, a few things which are coming is now we are working on um, Alexa and Google Home app. Okay. So, which is a private, is like a virtual assistant. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually, it's a voice assistant. Mm -hmm. You know, so you make a command to call it for, for hey, give me... Uh, document for this listing it can actually send you those so you can say I would like to get it's just like a function which your uh, assistant can do mm -hmm. for example show me send me information about making an appointment for this listing mm -hmm. you know uh, so we can actually do all these things through the voice through uh, tools such as Alexa and Google Home which are really popular with how how users will interact with technology mm -hmm. is through a voice so that's something which is coming. A uh, few other things which we are working on uh, is the redesign of the website. That's a major work, <laughs> and you will see. But that will that redesign will really change HAR what it is today uh, to a completely different level. So this is the HAR is, website, right? Just Not is the complete HR. Okay. Yeah, the complete HAR website will change. And again, that means to our members is uh, that means will promote their listings more attractive way, keep users who are coming to their listings so they would not go to third-party websites right. and keep en engaging them because HR is still number one website in Houston, number mm -hmm. three in Texas, mm -hmm. you know, and also popping up now in the top five among top cities like Dallas, Austin, and other areas. It's amazing. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, <laughs> there, are, there are a bunch of other things. Uh, so one of the things is that right now when you go inside Matrix mm -hmm. and, you know, there's a button that says Share. Mm -hmm. uh, so Share is, it allows you to, when you click it, you can do uh, Share on social media. You can actually get a link to text someone mm -hmm. and a bunch of other ways to do that. So that's also changing. Okay. So so it's going to be it's going to be bringing people more into what our members only area is mm -hmm. into that type of structure okay. but then the links which are shared from that uh, will have the same unified design mm -hmm. and have same agent branding more emphasized rather than HAR.com uh, logo at the top and and so so we're gonna more make it more uh, agent branded focus very you good know. are a lot of agents using that share button in matrix oh they are yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. so so uh one of the key components which we added in this which i hope a lot of, of you use there out there is the direction tool mm -hmm. hr direction is very powerful it mm -hmm. used route optimization using the google uh uh, algorithm so it's really cool you can plot properties in mm -hmm. see them bring that as a PDF share that with your client and again when it's shared it's shared with their own branding and of course uh, of course that tool is available for everyone but when the brand if you are platinum and you are using it mm -hmm. it's all branded with you Very good, yeah. so when any listing which is shared there it has your brand rather than uh, it has the broker required required information, which is the broker information is there, mm -hmm. but the agent information will be your information. So very good. All right, let's see if there's anything else here. Um, so this is a really good question from Robert. A uh, desired time frame for the CRM. So <coughs> that will happen before the end of the year, but uh, we will start having in about. Uh, beginning of the uh, the the last quarter, mm -hmm. we will have beta testers on the okay. platform. Right now, we have sort of created a committee, which is uh, we we are trying to have their initial meeting of that, mm -hmm. which is part of the technology advisory group subcommittee, mm -hmm. and this, that group is working together to kind of look at best practices and and so what we are trying to do is kind of get a first initial version available to them mm -hmm. and that way when we get together we get more productive opinion and advice from that and but it will be so any of you love to participate in that shoot an email if you're passionate about a CRM and love to hear from you so yeah absolutely. so anyone can be a part of it they just have to reach out to you if they, they want a beta test it. yes well there you go to so, key at hr.com that's right, right. <laughs> very good um, I saw something else pop up if you give me just a second 
Sorry about that, it just went away from me. Okay, there we go. Um, so, uh, Demiria just had a comment based on the flyers that you mm -hmm. talked about. She said she would love a layered photo option in the new flyer program, something like uh, Microsoft Picture It. So, so suggestion I, there. Sure. I, again, I would love to receive a, if you love some design, mm -hmm. some approach, I would love to see it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't exactly picture layered one, how you in, envisioning that, but definitely love to see that and, and glad to accommodate that. Very good. So you can't, we have to talk about education here, right? Yes. So um, this is our summer series of learning and yes. your, your first step. So all of these tools, we have classes for them, right? Absolutely. And one of the things which I tell members that look, even if you are not platinum, take these classes. Mm -hmm. You know, these are offered at no cost. Mm -hmm. You can come and learn and see the value. You know, the price of that uh, platinum tool is so insignificant if you see the value what it brings. Last time when we did it before some of these upgrades, it was coming out at about eighteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, just the value you get from a tool which is one hundred twenty nine dollars. Mm -hmm. So a year. So a year exactly, and it's so. And the idea was that that look, why don't we create uh, more and more tools and build it as, as a better platform? So the more you are. In there, if we are missing anything on that, be glad to let us know. We're always looking for great uh, things to add. And But the training are available. These are great ways. And many of the people, uh, members who are uh, platinum already mm -hmm. have not taken the training and uh, it, it kind of hurts that when they call, they say, <laughs> hi, how do you do that? So I tell them, look, we have great instructors, you know, who are doing all their best with the education department, which is one of the best in the country you know, trying to train our members. It's just take the effort to take the training and really you will see the benefit from that. Yeah, good, and we put the link up for you guys um, to go sign up for a class, and these classes are free, These right? classes are free. So correct. like you said, if you're not a Platinum member and you're just curious, we've, we talked about maybe, what, five or six tools Absolutely. today, but like you said, there's over 80, so. And, and we are constantly um, changing, so even right. if you're taking a class, it, as a refresher, it may not hurt you to come back and, and take that. Yeah. And especially on a mobile, uh, mobile is you are always on the road trying to uh, uh, act, access the information, mm -hmm. use the iPad tool, use the iPhone tool or right. Android. I mean, we are constantly upgrading that, including better things on that. And, and recently, like you know, we added the AVM. Mm -hmm. So now you can actually go in any property in Texas and get an AVM. Right. And that's accessible directly through your mobile app. Very good. Um, so again, take a tools class. They're free. Three hours of, of CE credit. That's if you, right. That's <laughs> well, right. thank you so much, Taki. This was this was really really helpful, and I'm thank so excited so to hear about some of the new things that are coming for our members. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. So next week, our member focus Monday will be a little more webinar style. We talked about Market Insight today. Um, next week, we're going to go a lot more in depth with Market Insight. Take a look at the new design that Taki. Um, talked about and it'll be a little more webinar style so make sure you tune in for that and again market insight is a lead generating tool and I know that every realtor wants those leads right absolutely absolutely <laughs> all right so we'll see you next week for member focus Monday have a great week bye-bye